hello and happy Sunday and first and happy first quarter moon in Leo to all of my Pisces. Hopefully you all are having a great day on today, Pisces. I know you are because you're setting those intentions, right? Let's get right into your general reading. I am talking to each and every one of you all who have Pisces somewhere in your chart, anywhere you have Pisces in your chart. So that means I'm talking to myself. Yes, so I'm excited to see what the cards have to say. I'm talking to the Pisces in me when I'm talking to you. So I'm speaking to your highest frequency. So let's get into your reading, Pisces. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what these cards have to say. What's coming up for you, Pisces? Yes, let's see. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Oh, love. Okay. All right. Y'all could be meeting somebody anywhere. Love and money. <laughs> All right. Okay. Somebody is wiser now. Somebody knows that. Okay. All right. Let's, let's, let's pull this all down and see what these cards have to say. All right. Somebody has moved on from a very, um, a very, uh, painful relationship. Like somebody was grieving, mourning something, having to leave something behind, right? It could have been a family relationship. It could have been a romantic relationship. It could have, it could have whatever it was. Okay. This is what I'm, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that, believe it or not, um, somebody was really, um, emotionally draining you. It could have been somebody that you love very deeply. It could have been an ex. It could have been a parent. It could have been a sibling. It could have been several energies that were draining you to a point where it was really messing up your money in the past, right? Where you thought that somebody was sending black magic your way and they really weren't sending black magic your way. You're starting to realize that when you look up and you speak to source in you, you were actually going through a rebirth. So nobody was sending any black magic your way. You were actually going through a rebirth and <clears throat> somebody has been grieving for a very, very long time in this position of crying and just feeling sorry for themselves. And why is this happening to me? And that kind of thing, right? Not realizing that all you had to do was look up and be grateful for this rebirth occurring, occurring because you're about to open up a vault to a lot of money a lot of time, right? So time equals currency, right? People look at money, but remember uh, we have a shortage of coins and paper. So you have the, the time that you may have felt like you lost in that time of grieving. For some of you all, you've been grieving for so long. It almost feels like, man, I look up and I got gray hair. I look up and time has really passed and all I'm too old to do this. I'm too, it's, that's, that's not the case at all. You're not too old. You're wiser. Now you had to learn some lessons. Some of you all were emotionally drained and almost zombified going through this grieving process and not even recognizing the gifts that you had inside of you. But it was like source was, that's why I see a lot of duties and responsibilities now. All the, every single time you were being burned by people, you were also being enlightened. So you could have walked away from this being very bitter with a lot of baggage, or you can say, hmm, I got a book, I got a podcast, I got a YouTube channel in me, I got an Instagram, I got a TikTok, I got all of these that I can use on a digital platform that's going to give me a lot of big money. All of this wisdom that I've acquired on this journey, I see you being very wise, very knowledgeable, right? Very clear on moving forward. Here's the thing. When you write your book, when you start your podcast, when you start your YouTube channel, you're not talking about anybody because the goal is not to hurt anybody. It really is to help lead people to their light, Pisces. That's what I'm saying to you. You all saying to you, you all being the lighthouse. So when you're talking to people, you're talking to, you're talking to their spirit, which is they're going to wonder, how did you know that in your podcast? How did you know that on your YouTube channel? Like, how did you know exactly what I needed? Because you've already walked through the fire. And whether they realize it or not, you walk through the fire with their spirit. Your spirit and their spirit walk through the fire together. Source was leading you both and or leading all of you. Let me not just say you both. But again, and so I see love coming across your path, but because, because, and also more money coming across your path. And I also see you've been in introspection mode. This is going to be so clear to somebody that through all those tears and frustration and feeling like this person hurt you, that person hurt you, this and that person hurt you, you are actually walking with them to lead them into their own light, right? The lighthouse, right? We know that the lighthouse is just planted, right? It doesn't move. It's just planted right there, 
So your physical body was walking through all of this, but your spirit was deeply rooted and planted as a big lighthouse leading both of your spirit. Like I said, zombified, your, your flesh was zombified, but you all were walking together. You and other people were walking together, but it was your spirit as that light at the lighthouse that was grounded and rooted. Yes. So somebody who died is really watching over you. They are really watching over you and protecting you. I'm telling you, Pisces, um, like I said, they, they have, they see your pain. They saw your pain. They, they are, they are actually encouraging you to take the blindfolds off and deal with any repressed emotions. Go ahead and write that book. Go ahead and write that book. Listen, you are not responsible for hit dogs hollering. You're not responsible if somebody reads your book and they assume they, oh, I know Pisces is talking about me. You didn't even mention their name. You're not because your your whole goal is not to hurt them. Your goal is to heal yourself and heal other people. That's why you're going to change names. You're going to, you may even change the gender. You may even change the skin color. You may be talking about things and mixing two stories together. So the assumption can be whatever they assume it to be. But trust me, however you design it, strategically design your book, write your book, however you just strategically do your podcast or your YouTube channel or whatever is going to reach exactly who it's supposed to reach. Remember, we have almost 9 billion people on the planet. So you haven't lost out on any time or any money, Pisces, at all. Not a dime. No time did you lose out on because time is currency and you have a lot of it. You have deposited a lot into the universe. Yes. So don't worry about what people are going to say about you, about your book, about your YouTube channel, about your matter of fact, some of you all have had to isolate yourself because had you, you're so highly intuitive that had you, your spirit started to speak on things, the person that you were connected to closely would assume you were spreading their business or talking about them. And that's not the case at all. You're really trying to help other people. And so that could also ruin relationships and people say, oh, I just told Pisces X, Y, and Z. I can't believe they use their YouTube platform to talk about me or that they wrote this thing in a book about me. Nope. You're not even talking about them. Here we have the high priestess. Yes, your intuition is on a thousand. I mean, like it's so intense right now. And guess what? It's going to get even more intense as we get closer and closer to the full moon. So I see a lot of you all, you know, in your sweetheart energy, a lot of energies being attracted to you, wanting to connect with you in one, in some shape, form or fashion, just because of the gift. Time is your friend. Didn't I say time is your currency? See, in the past, somebody would have thought, we're talking about the number 15, uh, one plus four is five. In the past, you would have thought I was wasting time. I was just, I was just wasting time. You know, I lost that on time. Now look at me. I, I'm at this age in my life. I'm too old to do this. I'm too old to do that. I'm too old to start. No, it's never too old to start. Matter of fact, time is in your favor. So whereas you may have, not only that, somebody's going to feel energetically a lot younger than they are. You may even look younger than you are just because again, you're reclaiming your time. You're reclaiming your time and you're steamrolling ahead, right? Again, you're not trying to hurt anybody. I have to reiterate this because as hurt as you've been, you're not trying to do to others what they have done to you in their zombie state. What you're doing actually is what you were called to do. That's what you were called to do it. So let's talk a little bit about the number 29 because we're talking about the number 11 in all forms, right? Two plus nine is 11, so it reduces to 11. The number 29 means as a highly intuitive you are here to develop undeniable faith in your gifts and trust in the goodness of your mind and your soul. This total faith is your divine origins, creates a natural optimism about your life. 29 reduces to the master number 11, which you vibrate to as well. So you take your life and roll very seriously. When you honor yourself as an individualist, a creator of original ideas and visions, your vitality and trust in the goodness of everything creates a miraculous healing. You have high standards that never waver and thus you can demand much from yourself. At your highest expression, you are a leader and teacher of wisdom. That's why I say when you're talking to the masses, the lighthouse, you're standing firm. Your light is shining for all to see, to get to where they're trying, their zombies stay so they can plug into your source, right? Not you, this being their God, you're allowing them to see God in you. 
right? You are good enough. Somebody has analyzed the situation and recognized, yes, I am good enough. And that's what your somebody who died or transitioned over is telling telling you, you are smart enough. You are good enough. No matter what they say, no matter how many degrees somebody else may have, no matter what, you are good enough, Pisces. So yeah. So you may have a dream. You may be near a body of water. Somebody is telling you, yes, you are good enough, Pisces. So don't ever doubt that again. You are a sweetheart. So you're going to see adults and vault doors swing wide open. There's been a lot of people talking negatively about you. But guess what? It's them in their zombie state, the queen of pentacles. Yes, the energy of money is very attracted to you. So again, we're talking about time, currency, right? So all the time you thought that you didn't make more enough, you know, you didn't, you, you didn't have time to, you know, so somebody may have run it to feel like they were going to throw in the towel and, you know, I'm too old to go after this. All of a sudden, have you ever seen like actresses or just people in the entertainment industry, they start their careers after a certain age and just say, you know, I'm just going to give it a try. All of a sudden they just take off because they're bringing wisdom with them. They're bringing a lot of duty and responsibilities that they've had to carry on their journey with them, right? They're knowledgeable. They're wiser now. They've taken those blindfolds off so there's no more repressed emotions. They're moving with a very sincere heart. And all of a sudden they're just skyrocketing. And people are like, oh my God, when did they start their career? They thought maybe they were underground. Their, their, their training has been in life has been in life. You ever seen how zombies walk with their arms out? Like you ever watch the movies with zombies? That's how people were walking through life. Yep. Observe. Yep. Now it's going to be so important that you create those boundaries. It's going to be so important that you create those healthy boundaries because now that people know that you're leading them to their own light, the amount of attention that you're getting is going to be more than you've ever even you're going to have to create some boundaries where people can't be calling you all hours of the night, DMing you, all kinds of things, right? As much as you may want to help because you're such a compassionate sign and you're an empath and you're intuitive and you're, you guys are sweethearts. Because if you allow people to overwhelm you, it's going to have a negative effect. In other words, right now, you are acting like what you're becoming, which is a celebrity, Celebr celebrated by a, by the masses, right? And so, you know, here we have in my center is my awareness. That's right. And then we have your body always reflects consciousness. That's right. So like I said, you don't have, you can, you can look at enough celebrities to see which celebrities handle it with gentleness and kindness and humility, no matter who their PR people are. And you can also see the celebrities that don't handle celebrity well. They see it almost as a headache. Like, you know what? If I had known better, I would take the money over the fame because this fame is for the birds. But the way you're going to handle celebrity is in such a in such a gracious way, in such a kind, lighthouse, down-to-earth way that people are going to, from all walks of life, are really want to, going to be running to connect with you. Whereas this group may say, oh, you're ghetto. This group may say, you know what? They're speaking my language, right? So I can understand. I, I understand that. Even from the wealthiest of people looking at you like, okay, this person got it out of the mud. This person has been through some things. For them to write that kind of a book and for them to talk about this on it, they, they've, no, this is not something that you can teach. Somebody walk through this. They'll be talking about you. That is what I have for you, Pisces. So keep on thriving, keep on winning, right? And keep on observing and keeping yourself first. That's what I have for you. Bye.